In this video, I'm going to show you how to create super cool showcase transition effects in Filmora 10. Keep watching! Hi everyone, it's Chloe from Wondershare Filmora here to empower your inner video creator. Have you been looking to incorporate creative transitions in your videos, such as before and after of color grading, home studio makeover, and fitness training videos? Today, I'm going to show you three smart transitions to use for before and after comparison in your videos. Let's check them out. Wipe effect. The wipe effect is used to show obvious changes of videos with similar or same framing. In this example, I'm going to use the wipe effect to show the color difference between the raw video footage and the colored video footage. I'm going to drag and drop the raw video footage onto the first video track of the timeline. Then drag and drop the colored video footage onto the second video track. Make sure the clips are aligned with each other. Now I'm going to move the play hack to the spot where I want the transformation to start. Trip the second clip here. Go to the transitions window on the top left. Find erase slide. Drag and drop the transition to the beginning of the second video clip. Double click the transition on the timeline to activate the setting window on the top left. I'm going to adjust it to an ideal length. Now let's see how it looks. Dissolve effect. We can use the dissolve effect to show the changes naturally. It is frequently used in documentaries. In this example, I'm going to show the same location at various times. Drag and drop the first video footage onto the timeline. Then, drag and drop the second video footage of the same location at a different time onto the second video track. Go to the transitions window on the top left to find dissolve. Drag and drop it to the beginning of the second video footage. Now, I'm going to double click the transition on the timeline to activate the setting window. Adjust the length as needed. Let's play back and see how it looks. Don't worry if the framing of the two videos doesn't match each other. We can adjust the position and scale of the clips in the settings. Double click the first video footage on the timeline to activate the setting window. To match the framing to the second video, I'm going to increase the scale to 110% in the transform section. Then, I'll adjust the position of the first video footage accordingly. Now, let's play back again. It looks much better, doesn't it? Split screen effect. The split screen effect is used when we want to highlight a specific part that was changed in the videos. It gives a straightforward comparison between the two videos. In this example, I'm going to focus on the subject in the comparison. First, let's choose the split screen by going to the split screen window. Find split screen 1 and drop it onto the timeline. We will see the template appear in the viewer. Drag and drop the videos that I want to use from the top left media window to the left and right side of the template in the viewer. I'll adjust the position of the videos a little to focus on the subject. Lastly, to disable the split screen animation, I'm going to find and uncheck the enable split screen animation box at the bottom of the setting window. All right, let's check out the result. So here we have it! Those are the tips and tricks to create cool showcase comparison effects. Now that you know how easy they are, will you use them in our videos? Let us know in the comments! Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe for the new videos on the channel. Keep creating and see you next time! Have you been looking to... Showcase transition effects. Okay.